Hello everyone, this is David Van Sicklin, an EdTech coach at Verona Area School District. Today, I wanted to show you how to make scheduling super easy with your colleagues by changing your access permissions to free busy. So before I show you how to do that, I'm gonna show you the benefits of it. Now, if you wanted to schedule a meeting with someone in the past or currently, you most likely are bouncing back email after email, looking for a time that might work for you, two very busy people. Now, if you weren't aware, you were able to search people's calendars. Now, if they have permitted uh, access to their free busy, you can just simply type their name in here and their schedule pops up. Notice it doesn't tell you the exact event details of what they're doing unless you are currently in that same meeting, but it does tell you when they're busy and then anytime that's free is just empty. So for example, if I wanted to schedule a meeting with Jess Beam, principal at Country View, I could just simply say, hey Jess, it looks like your Friday morning's open. Could we meet then? And she might say, sorry, actually, I was going to be running late. I'm in my yoga breakfast club and I can't meet them. Or she might say, yep, I'm free then. Let's meet. So the way to do that, to change your settings, is you hover over your work calendar. Yours probably says your full name here. And you click the three dots and click settings and sharing. You can change your name here like I did. But if you hover down, access permissions is right here. Now, if you check Make Available for Verona Area School District and see only Free Busy, this allows anyone in Verona Area School District to see your Free Busy schedule. You can uncheck that if you don't feel comfortable with that. Currently, it's unchecked. If you just want to share this with specific people, you can go down here and add people right here. So for example, this pe these people, my teammates, uh, my colleagues, they can see my Free Busy schedule or even my director here, she can see all my events. Uh, this is why it's really beneficial. Again, I showed you how you can search people's calendars. Another thing that's really nice is if you wanted to schedule something, you create an event and you type in fake event or whatever, and you add your, uh, your guests. Now, when you have more people that have shared their calendars, one feature that is super helpful is the find a time feature. Now notice it's overlaying Jess and Lisette's and my calendar over each other. And notice we're pretty busy people. So I could look into next week. And now I'm starting to see some gaps in time where we're both not, all three of us aren't booked up. And I could click right here, a time that works for all of us, and go back and send that. And say, hey, it looks like this event time works for us. We're good to go. So I'm a huge fan and advocate for this setting because I don't care if people know when and if I'm busy, but only if I can or can't meet at that time. So please consider changing your access permissions to allow people to search for your calendar and find a time that's convenient for both of you to meet. I hope you found this video helpful. Reach out if you have any questions.